So looking at your email, you are saying props will be replaced with higher grade ones in the future pass, bouquet of flowers and a heart shaped box of chocolate. All right, sounds like a plan. It's a ginormous piece of broccoli. I love it. Cauliflower though, right? It would be cauliflower. <laughs> so I like this. I don't think I do that. Do I do that? I do do that. It's great. Um, my only comment would be, and this is up to you if you want to do that or not. The thing with um, dialogue is usually kind of a waste up, so I'm glad it, it's a bit of a different framing. But the other thing that frequently happens is that people are kind of stuck in in place. Now, I'm not saying that you just add movement for movement's sake, but you can add steps to kind of reflect her her state, like her how she changes. So by that, I mean, what if she is already taking a step back so she's already kind of moving backwards here and then finishing a step through there that's all cute and maybe you would have to start her slightly here ish so that when she takes steps forward that doesn't look like she's just coming straight to camera so perspective wise it would be kind of weird to see that so you would have a little bit more movement uh, uh, left to right so she comes forward stops on that that way she does this full stop here and you do exactly what you do here it's like oh, okay well what's going on with me and then and then on this you take a tiny step back so that visually cameras here right she's here she comes forward a bit stops and then maybe goes back this way or maybe back away from us so it's not exactly back the same spot um, unless it's so minimal that it doesn't quite matter which is probably the case but that to me would be would be interesting just change a bit she's a bit more casual um you know she might be waiting for the date or a cab or something but still she could stay she could take one or two steps backwards stop on this right boom like that with that move that's your last step forward like this is kind of a neat look big weight shift there but you can kind of imagine she, she takes she starts here takes a step back finishes exactly into this is that look it's really great I really like it um, and then here's a little take a um, little step back and then here you can decide how far you want to push this where she potentially might get more freaked out so uh, maybe raising the shoulders a little bit for more tension bringing that arm up uh, box chocolate a bit more this a little bit tighter grip and then the bouquet of flowers will be here um, so just just a bit more attention potentially on how far you want to push this, but I think this could be interesting. As of now, the body, if I scrub through there, is pretty similar. That's my main impression. If I had to say one post, uh, one post, one comment, is that it's all very similar in terms of posture, except, you know, the changes here, they're minimal C curve changes, but I think the steps forward and back and a little bit of more of a <gasps> tension here, or I always experiment with do that where she's unsure and then maybe here a bit more tense brings it up a bit more a bit more towards us and then and then oh I do that that realization you would then drop the shoulders more drop this drop this drop that that could also be something where she goes oh no and that is kind of a I wouldn't say a relaxation of the body um, but it's good that would be the biggest shift of oh crap so that is probably it Do like that moment of thought there it'll keep alive there and I love this here little finger detail I think that could be okay where maybe maybe it would be the second version I do that and she gets more insecure and that's why she brings it up closer to the tighter tighter grip with the thumb everything just kind of tighter and closer not trying to hide but kind of like hmm, what did I do and then the opening of oh man I did it I wonder if you need this car. Um, this is super picky. I hear things maybe in the back. This guy I hear. This would just be a very loud sound. So I don't know. This could be something. I mean, you can see. I don't know how many props you're going to put in there and, you know, different cars or just leave it at that. Just as 
as an as indication of where she is, that could be fine too. Maybe that's up, that's just enough. I'm just being picky on sound every now and then. But that's about it. It's a great start. Uh, yeah, I would say keep going. Actually, one more thing. Sorry, just because I'm, I'm stopping on this. And I know it's a detailed thing, but as you move forward, just watch out that we have some sort of an equal uh, posing on those eyes. It's always kind of, if you drag an eye box over there, that's going to be okay. This is going to be very buried. So I'm going to start animating eye boxes separately. So this one will move over. It's not too cut off. It's a bit more in line with this. Uh, and then it's kind of up to you how cross eye you want her to be. The cliche thing uh, I see in other movies is to have women to be uh, be a bit more cross eye um, just to make them maybe cute or I don't know slightly innocent. It's kind of up to you how far you want to go. So even here she's, she's a bit discomposed a little bit more. So it's kind of up to you how far you want to go with that. Alright. Alright. This is really it. Thank you. Alright. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.